I was told there was nothing left. No reason, no uh, conscience, no understanding, and even the most rudimentary sense of life or death, of good or evil, right or wrong. I met this six-year-old child with this blank, pale, emotionless face and the blackest eyes, the devil's eyes. I spent eight years trying to reach him and then another seven trying to keep him locked up because I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. He's a six-year-old boy with the strength of a man and the mind of an animal. What makes him kill, what motivates him. But in his heart, it always seemed to me he wants one thing. There's nothing inside that man but pure evil. Hey, everybody! All right. All right. Sorry about that. Some people tried to break into my house, and I had to go take care of the issue. So I apologize for the interruption of the greatest show on earth. All right, everybody. First of all, I want to thank you guys for coming back. I apologize for the earlier stuff, but, you know, what am I going to do, right? Stuff goes wrong. I had to, I had to play with the uh, modem upstairs, so I don't know exactly what's wrong. But, but hey, before we start, me talking to this microphone through the mask. Is it all right? Can you guys understand me? I might actually have to take out this mask because this, this mask is hot. It's hot. I see that you got a facelift. What an improvement. You know, when you look good as me, you do what you got to do. Halloween movies, baby. We got Halloween next week. And I thought, hey, let's just talk about one of the greatest franchise there is. The Halloween movies. Now, I'm not here to tell you a Halloween movie is good. No, I'm not here to tell you that. I'm telling you that we're going to go through them, and we're going to... Oh, hold on a second. Hold on. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, guys. The, the mask is too hot. <laughs> I'm sorry. The, the the mask is scaring YouTube. Hey, hey Danny, it, it must. It must have uh, been scaring YouTube. But man, I gotta tell you, this thing, this thing is hot. This thing is hot. This is uh oh now that's yeah. <laughs> oh I oh my god, that's terrifying. Woo, baby, this is hot. And this right here, this jumpsuit is a, a is a winter jumpsuit. Put the mask back on. Jesus. Man, man, I can't. Man, put the mask back on. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Do I look better? All right, all right. I can't believe you guys think I'm better looking with the mask on. All right, so guys, Halloween started in 19. 78 1978 my god i'm gonna play you guys the one of the original trailers to the 1978 now for the record i checked to see what kind of copyrights these things I don't mind copyrights because they can have the five cents, the nickel, the two cents. But I wanted to make sure I'm not going to play certain ones that's going to ban it from different parts of the world, different parts here. But just in case, if I play some trailers, a lot of times YouTube will like shut you down, but you, I'll come right back on. So, so let's let's check out the first trailer, the 1978, the original. Halloween movie. Here we go. Halloween night. Luck in town. 
15 years ago. Michael? Halloween. I spent eight years trying to reach him and then another seven trying to keep him locked up because I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. I think he'll come back. Exploring uncharted territory. And totally charted. Just talk. Sure, sure. 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 The only reason she babysits is to have a thinking about that I was I, I was actually thinking about I have a, a, a knife in my hand and I thought you know what if I had a knife in my hand somebody would make a complaint UT would shut it down because I have a weapon because you know they do have a, a, a rule that that you're not supposed to display weapons so I was thinking about the knife but I guess I thought I, I don't want to take a chance so that was the 1978 Halloween movie by John Carpenter. You know, and I think what made the movie was the sound. The, you know, the sound, the, the, you know, John Carpenter, you know, he composed the music. You guys got to understand, when they made this Halloween movie, they made it on pennies on a dollar. I mean, they gave John Carpenter, like, like no budget. I mean, three hundred thousand dollars is not not shabby, but three hundred thousand dollars, even making a movie back in nineteen seventy eight, is a lot of money. You know, so so you know that that's that, that's that's hard to do. I think what one of the things that I like about the uh, nineteen seventy eight, I always have a weapon in my hand. Uh, when I do our show. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought about it. All right, hold on a second. You guys want a weapon? My God. You guys want a weapon? I'll give you a weapon. All right. All right. I got a weapon. You guys happy now? I got a weapon right here. All right, there we go. There's my weapon. Uh oh. Hold on a second. I have to. Let me see. All right. All right. All right. So hold on. Something. Man, I'm just, I'm just having a bad lighting day or something. Nothing's working properly. You know what I mean?
Okay, so. Hold on a second, guys. I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. You got the ugly guy again. Guys, people, this is so fucking hot. I'm sorry. I shouldn't apologize. I apologize. It's too, it's too hot. It's just, it's too hot. I have to. Whew, whew, I'm burning up in here. Now, in the 1970 Halloween, I think for me, what made it special was, was not just the music. When you guys watch the 1978, it's how Michael moved, right? It's how he moved. It was like he, he would just stand there and stare, right? <laughs> Michael wants his mask back. Yeah, Michael Myers wanted to borrow the mask, so so I'm giving him the mask. Apologize. That mask was too hot. And the way, you know, just 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 the movie here. Let me see if I can pull up some some images here. Hold on a second. 1978. Um, John Carpenter. Oh, here we go. Let's see here. Let me pull up some images here. Where is it? Hey, here we go. Let me share the screen here. Let me share the screen. Let me go here. I mean, just look at that. Just the blank face. The not that one. The whole. Uh, I don't care about the new one. Oh well, this is not the way of working. Okay, so so guys, again, I, I apologize for earlier the show at nine o'clock. Um, looks like I fixed the problem. It, it for, for whatever reason the uh, um, I don't know. Had to reset the pat the IP. Had to release, renew, and all that. So I had to renew the pat. You know the the IP. Get a re get a refresh IP, and then it seems like everything is working fine. So I, I don't know exactly what happened there and all that. But regardless, the show's on. It's all that matters, and all that. Um, I want to show you the history of the masks, right? Michael Myers mask. Let's let's look at this. Let's look look at this. Michael Myers mask. That's the original mask. That is the mask where they went to uh, a store. They found a uh, um um oh god, William Shatner's mask of Star Trek. They took the masks. They they, they kind of they cut the eyes a little bit bigger and they painted it white and there they go. So technically, I know most of you know this, but if you didn't know this, if anybody's new to the Halloween franchise, the original mask of Halloween is actually Michael Myers. I mean, <laughs> it's it's William Shatner of Star Trek that became the Michael Myers. You know what I wonder? I should have looked it up. I didn't bother to look it up. I wonder if, if they technically had to go get permission from William Shatner that they use his mask. Even though they painted it white, I wonder, right? I, I wonder if, if it, or I mean, I'm sure William Shatner didn't care, but I wonder since the mask sold all this money based on his face painted white, I wonder if William Shatner ever get it gets a a, a a dollar or get a penny for every mask sell that was based off of his face. I, I wonder. I wonder. Probably not. Probably not. But. But what did it look like before they cut it up? <laughs> well, just imagine that they didn't cut the eyes a little bit. The, let me see here. The um, I don't know if there's a picture. Let me see. I'll, I'll try to see. Original. Original William Shatner mask used for Michael Myers. That's a good question. Let me see if I can find something. I don't know. Let me see here. Let me see. Give me a second. Let's see if there's an image. All right. Let me pull this up for you guys. Uh, let me let me pull this up. Share screen. Okay. Adult Michael Myers uh, vacuum mask. Here we go. 
So look at this one. Look at that. William Shatner. When they, when they do it this way, you can actually see uh, William Shatner in there. Message. Message. William. Eric C. So let's see here if there's. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Anything else? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Michael Myers right there, people. You can see it right there. That's that's Michael Myers. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I just wonder. I wonder if he makes any money. I should have looked that up. I apologize. If somebody in the chat wants to look that up to see if, oh, wow, I didn't realize it was mobilized off of William Shatner. Is this true? Yes. Yes. It, did, did they have no money? So when they went to the uh, 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 store, they got a William Shatner mask and they made the eyes a little bit bigger. They painted it white. So technically, Michael Myers is wearing, is wearing the um, mask. That's why if you go back to the very first one, it's him. You could go by, back and watch the John Carpenter's uh, making and all that, and they'll tell you how they, they came up with the mask. So the first original is based on William Shatner. And this is, like I said, you guys could just look it up yourself. This is this is nothing new. I, I've been a, a fan of the franchise. But the thing is, when they start making the other ones, for whatever reason, for whatever reason, they didn't stuck, they didn't stick with the original mask. I, like, okay, so so hold on here. Let me share the screen back here. Let me go back here. So, Michael Myers' mask, the shape, is a white mask worn by Michael Myers' Halloween series. The mask is different in each film but usually features the same black face. Okay, so let me see here. Um, option, let me see here, mask. Oh, right here, right here. If, so so, the, so you guys, believe me, the Captain Kirk Mac mask was chosen due to his appearance of having no real facial features that could be easily made out. So right there in the words, people, right there. You can see it right there too. The Captain Kirk Mac was chosen due to his parents of having no real facial features that could easily be made out. Is that kind of an insult to um, uh, Captain Kirk? <laughs> the production crew removed the eyebrows and sideburns. The face was painted flat, uh, flat white. The hair was tossed out and the eyes were open and reshaped with scissors. This info can be found in the Halloween Inside Story. They tested out the Captain Kirk mask, and the crew decided this was much more creepy because it was emotionless, much like Michael himself. This became the Michael Myers mask. Since they, every mask used in the film have been model, uh, modeled after this design, William Shatner, Shatner admitted that for years, he had no idea his likeness was used for the film. It was only during an interview that someone mentioned his mask was being used. He has since started that he is honored by the gesture. But I wonder behind the scenes if, if you know, he, he probably would have um, a court case. I'm sure he's not going to do that. I'm sure he would have a court case to say, hey, it, you, they used my face. They admitted it. Even though they removed the hair, the eyebrows, I'm sure they got, they, they he would have, but William Shatner, you know, I mean, that's just like publicity for him, right? That is publicity for him. William Shatner is a great sport, though. He is a great sport. He, listen, how that man kept a career going 
Think about it. Star Trek in the in the sixties was only five seasons. Got lucky, got back in the movies in the eighties, and he just keeps going. He keeps going. He does all these different kind of shows, right? Does all these different kind of shows? Does the um, on unex- you know all these mystery shows? I mean, he keeps going. Good for him. Now, in the Halloween Toon mask, uh, Michael obtained a mask and just one of many items stolen from uh, Nichols Hardware Store. The Halloween Toon used the exact same mask, but it looks different in later because the paint has faded for various reasons. Nick Castle, the guy who played the original Michael Myers, used to keep like the mask in his back pockets and all that. So it kind of lost its... um. They, they kind of lost... Some of the paint faded, but th- th- there's nothing wrong with that. Now, by the time they made Halloween 4 production, they realized they made a mistake and never again let cast and crew take props from the set. Therefore, subsequent sequels used different masks that looked rather different. Warlock used the uh, Deodorant mask. Now, now, of course, we all know Halloween 3 is not Halloween, the John Car- Now. We guys all know the, the Halloween three, even though it's called Halloween three season of the witch, it has nothing to do with Michael Myers. You guys know that, right? It's about the company creating these masks to basically brainwash the world. In a lot of ways, it, the movie never gets enough credit for what Halloween three was trying to do, trying to show the world how they, how corporations try to, warp your mind to make you do whatever they say, which they do that every single day in life. I mean, but I think what, what it was is um, the company wanted John Carpenter to make another Halloween movie. He said, no, Micah Myers is dead. And Halloween too. He is dead. He said, I'll make another Halloween movie, but it's not going to be about Michael. So they did it. And I think if John Carpenter, would have just called it maybe season of the witch and took out the name Halloween. I think the movie would have been accepted a lot more because if you really think about it, guys, really, seriously, if you really think about this, you know, in the eighties, not everybody had cable TV. Most TVs were over the air. So it's not like the internet nowadays where you can see any trailer, anything you want, you know, that, you, you, back those days, I'm sure Halloween movies didn't have a huge budget where they can show a lot of um, they can show a lot of a lot of trailers and commercials, right? They, they, they couldn't, they couldn't show a lot. So a lot of people's trailers were newspapers, newspapers. The, the like, wow, this movie looks good. Let's go watch this. They base it on newspapers. So I'm sure a lot of people, when they saw Halloween 3, they're like, oh my God, Halloween 3, Michael Myers is back. And I'm sure a lot of people who went to see the Halloween movie, Halloween 3, were like, where's Michael? You know what I mean? And and they they weren't concentrating on what the movie was saying. Because Halloween 3, it's, it's it's a brilliant movie. But I think people were pissed off because... They didn't see Michael Myers. And I think that was um that was a mistake. That they, they shouldn't call it Halloween three. They just they shouldn't. I think the movie would have done a lot better. Actually, I don't know. Maybe because they put the Halloween three, more people went and saw it, thinking Michael was in it and made more money that way. I can't I can't tell you. But I think the Halloween three name kind of hurt the movie itself because people were too upset and Michael wasn't in it. Okay. Now, the, and then they made, you know, Halloween four. Now, Halloween four was just to get Michael Myers back on the screen because I enjoy the Halloween movies four five and six. I mean, they weren't groundbreaking. You know, I, you know, I enjoyed them for what they were. But the main problem I had with uh, Halloween 4 was, if you guys remember, and it's so weird talking about Halloween 2 and Halloween 4 because there's a 3 that has nothing to do with it, right? Because in Halloween 2, no offense, Michael's dead. 
Jamie Lee Curtis shot Michael both in the eyes. They shot him in the eyes. And he burnt to a crisp. Michael Myers is dead. I mean, he's he's dead. This is what I think they should have done. Hold on. What, what does Andy say? People get invested in franchise. They also get very pissed off when they change something. I think they just weren't smart about it. Now, listen. One of my favorite Friday the 13th movies is Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. Right? I love Jason Lives. The Alice Cooper song, He's Back, The Man Behind the Mask. Guys, remember that song with Alice Cooper? Remember that song? I'll try it. He's back, the man behind the mask, and he's out of control. He's back, the man behind the mask. I sing like shit. But you know what? John Carpenter's, uh, John Carpenter, uh, uh, Alice Cooper's song is back. But what they did, they, like, you know what? At least those writers said, you know what? Jason, we're going to go, we're going to go deep shit crazy with Jason. Let's just bring him back by shooting a lightning bolt into his grave and he comes back like the demon is bringing him back. I accept that. You, I knew what they were doing. You know what? Maybe they should have had Michael in the uh, ambulance van get striked by lightning to, to bring him back, you know, because his eyes got shot out in the second one. He just does those, those, those little things that, that uh, don't give up your day job. What the hell are you talking about? I'm a good singer. Love that song. It's a damn good song through the veil. Alice Cooper, he's back the man behind the mask. Great video to the Friday 13th movie. It's a very underrated song. It's a really good song. It's all allergy to the death of Captain Kirk. Now, Bob and I, of course, we did a show a long time ago about the masks. And look at this. This is where, I mean, I mean, Look at that mask for number four. I'm 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 sorry. That mask sucks. I mean, it sucks. Look at that. I mean, my God. Listen, I'm no genius. I'm no genius. Who the hell sat in that conference room when they're discussing making Halloween 4 and they say, hey, guys, let's ditch the original mask. Let's ditch the original mask. Hold on. Correct Danny Staten. Why? What, is, what, what, what does that boy Danny say? No. God damn it, people. I'm a good singer. There was nothing wrong with the original mask. Even though they might not have the original mask, they could have recreated it. And then they went with that. They went with that. Michael got hair transplants. I know. You know what I mean? It, it's, 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 it's. I, I just don't know what was the reason of switching it. Did it now have the rights or something? Then. The Captain Kirk finally came out and said, hey, they can't use my face without paying me. I wonder why they didn't do what they did for Friday 13, where they took a mold of someone's head and then deformed it. I don't know. It's just, it's just stupid. The mask is lame. Let me see here. Uh, since Dick Warlock kept the original mask, fucking Dick, what an asshole. Come on, Dick Warlock. Guys, he had to switch his name to that. That's can't, Somebody kind of be born with that name, right? Dick Warlock? I mean, I, maybe. A new one was created for the fourth film, again, from Captain Kirk Mold. That No, that is not from Captain Kirk Mold. What, is old age? Although retained the same general blank, no. So part of the problem... Uh, you know, what was weird about Halloween 4 was, and if you guys watched it, you know, in the beginning, you know, when the ambulance people came to pick up Michael, 
the 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 officer was telling him about Michael about the murders, right? Like 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 the the ambulance didn't know anything about Michael. Like you know, like this guy murdered sixteen people. I know they did it for the people who never seen the originals. And then of course they get in the ambulance, and then of course the ambulance mentioned that that uh, Jamie Lee Curtis character had a daughter, and of course they died in a car wreck or whatever they said. And then that's when it got up. I mean, they, I don't know. They could have done something better than that. They, I would have had the fucking, am, I'm sorry, excuse my language. I would have had the ambulance travel down, I don't know, from the beginning, from the, the second one, have lightning striked it, have lightning strike the ambulance, have him come back alive with two eyes and then go kill, you know, kill uh, Jim Lee Curtis character, finally kill it. You know, you don't have to show her face. They don't want the actress. Had her like psycho. In the shower scene, because every guy wants to see Jimmy Lee Curtis naked, even though they couldn't get a stunt woman, killed a woman, and then didn't realize that she had a baby. And then later on, I don't know, find out that that there is another child from the blood, and then go back. Now, if you guys didn't know this too, uh, um, um, <laughs> David Warlock <laughs> sounds like a fake name, but well, Bob Doctor Wu will use. <laughs> <laughs> that's true that's true i don't i, I would have wrote it maybe that way Mur you know kill because that in a car wreck oh wow that's lucky and then and then of course and the ambulance drivers knew knew, knew that story i don't know that's what i'm saying the story got lazy but there were some decent kills there were some decent kills now if you guys don't remember this in halloween 2 you know the original story of of uh did I just see balloons? The balloons just went on my screen. Is that a new thing with YouTube? I could have sworn I saw balloons. You know, John Carpenter never wanted Michael Myers to be Jamie Lee Curtis's uh, brother and sister. Never wanted it. The the storyline of Michael being um Jamie Lee Curtis's uh, brother was was pushed by the studio which it wasn't a bad idea because it, it, i guess technically it would make more sense why he was stalking this one person i saw balls too didn't you see that was that like if i had my hands up does it does it do things now i noticed danny that sometimes if you do a thumbs a thump whoa look at that is that new if you do different movements, different things happen. Let's do that again. Let's try that again. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. What happens if I do this? Does it do anything? No? How about if I go thumbs down? Dude, what, what did they add this? Did they just add that? <laughs> wow. My, <laughs> Eric's mind is blown. <laughs> Guys, I didn't know. I hey, listen, I don't I didn't know they did that. I don't know they did that. <laughs> so that's uh FaceTime new. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. 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 So it's forced by the company to put it in. So so when they actually made the original Halloween 2. That that scene where the uh the woman from the um police from uh the U.S. Marshal to tell Dr. Loomis about the brother sister that was added in at the last minute because the studio wanted that add in, which is fine. I mean, I, I didn't you know I, I didn't really have a problem. It makes sense why he was stalking her, playing with her, because Michael Myers killed everybody else fast, and he kept. Jamie Lee Curtis, maybe he was a pervert or something that he wanted her last. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, but if you guys didn't know that, so technically, John, that's the, John Carpenter. Remember, he wrote, and Deborah Hill wrote the second one. He didn't direct the second one. And the biggest, you know what, Halloween two. The biggest problem I have with Halloween two is they spent too much time in that, in that um, hospital. Way too much time in that hospital. I, you know, the, it, the hospital was just way too drawn out. I wish they would have, I don't know. 
the only really issue that I had with Halloween 2, that hospital scene was way too much. Way too much. Now, let's go back to the Michael Myers mask. Now, I think Dr. Wu's going to remember this one. Guys, Bob, Dr. Wu, don't tell people. Don't, don't, don't tell people who we said that mask looked like. Now, look at that mask in Halloween 5, Revenge of the Michael Myers. That is the most stupidest, dumbest math mask. I think it's the second dumbest mask they created. But what does that mask look like? I think when they did this movie, that mask predicted the future. Come on, people in the chat. Give me some gas. Come on. Come on. Come on. My... Dina B? Dina P? Zuckerberg, you must, I don't know if you watched my video of Bob and I, but Bob brought that up like, he looks like Zuckerberg. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Give me a second. Let me see if I can, so, let me find that clip. Give me a second. One second here. I'm, I want to, I want to find that. I want to find that. I mean, uh, let me see. Cause I think it was hilarious. Um, let me see here. Content. Got to go way back. This is going way back in the archives of, of Bob and I when we talked about this Halloween movie. Let me see if I can find it. Because Bob brought it up that he looked like Zuckenberg. And, I mean, it was. Let me see. Give me a second. I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer to the. Oh, oh here we go. Here we go. I found it. All right, give me a second. All right, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna um I'm gonna share screen. All right, uh, I took this clip out. Me, and Bob did a show. And we call it when Zuckerberg, uh, right here. Let me get this off. Um, uh, Z Mark Zuckerberg is the new face of Micah Myers in the Halloween movie. So check out this little thing that Bob and I, when Bob talked about this, this is funny. Change it. Why the Dude. fuck did you change it? Is that Zuckerberg? I don't know, but look at this one. Look at look at Halloween five. Uh, look at Halloween five. Look at that stupid ass mask. Well, that's a joke, dude. That's Zuckerberg. Look at this. Oh, go back down. Go back down. Halloween one, Halloween two. Good looking masks. Halloween four. Zuckerberg, man, from, from Facebook. Look at the last one. That's Zuckerberg. I'm gonna try to do special effects. <laughs> Why did you change it? Is that Zuckerberg? I know right now. I know right now. Andy, Andy's like, Eric, I could have done a better job <laughs> putting Zuckerberg's face on Michael Myers. <laughs> I know Andy's thinking that. I know Andy and Ron could do a way better job. They could do that uh, new where they could put somebody's face on it. <laughs> you know, but hey, I gave it a try, man. And remember, this was this video was what? How many years ago? Bob, I think we did this like I don't know, 3 years ago. You know, I don't think it was that bad. Hold on. Hold on. I give myself credit for this. Give me a second. Give me a second. Hold on a second. Let me make this a full screen. That's one. That's Zuckerberg.
Why the Dude, fuck did you change it? Is that Zuckerberg? I don't know, but look at this one. Look at look at Halloween five. Uh, look at Halloween five. Look that's at Zucker. that stupid ass mask. Well, that's a joke, dude. That's Zuckerberg. Hey, look at this. Oh, go back down. Go back down. Halloween one, Halloween two. Good looking masks. Halloween four. Zuckerberg, man, from, from Facebook. Look at the last one. That's Zuckerberg. Yeah. How many people in the sidebar? Let's do a vote, man. Tell me if that ain't Zuckerberg in the sidebar. <laughs> it looks just like that weasel's face. Looks like sucker turd, Zuckerberg. <laughs> That's his face. <laughs> look, was look, there look. Halloween <laughs> five mask looks like data from Star Trek. It looks yeah. like data from Star Trek. Okay. Or Zuckerberg, yeah. man. <laughs> it does look like data. Well, they both look the same. They look like robots. That's crazy, man. That looks like Zuckerberg. There's a message behind that one. And then look, and then look at this one. Like they for a joke. Let's make this one look like Zuckerberg or Data, but or Zuckerberg. Let's make this one look um, um Afro uh, uh person. This make this person look ethnic in this direction. I'm like, what? This, is, what this is what it says in Halloween Five. Halloween Five: The Revenge of Michael Myers introduced a different look to the shape mask. Michael awakened from a coma one year after the event of Halloween Four, and a shape mask is hanging on a wall in the shape of a local hermit. Supposedly the same one as H4, though the masks are clearly different. Well, just look at the freaking lips. The no, that's a no lips. mask. They spray painted white. Somebody, for a joke, knew that they did. William Shatner from Star Trek, the first one, took a he took a Zuckerberg mask, made it, and then spray painted it white. It's a joke. I can see it. Come on, someone help me out here on this. <laughs> <laughs> Come in, Zuckerberg. Oh, I'm handsome. I'm completely handsome. I'm staring into the camera handsome. Eric just kicked. He got kicked out. I think Zuckerberg kicked him out. I would get kicked out, right? <laughs> I'm getting kicked out. I'm getting kicked out. So, so. <laughs> uh, it seemed like, oh, he's getting kicked out. But but that, that was uh, that was cool. I mean, he does look like Zuckerberg. I mean, he really does. He really does. And then look at this one. The Curse of Michael Myers. H.C. Mask. Not super bad, but I guess they're going for the Afro look here. You know? You know? Like, like I, I mean, I guess this one's, uh, you know. But it does... Yes, I agree, Andy. It does look like data for the first one. You know what? Hmm. Did, did it say? Hold on a second. Um, like the previous films, masks were heavy criticized for looking not looking like the original. Fast was, was always on from Michael's collar. Uh, Michael Awakening. I thought I read somewhere. I thought I did read somewhere they did base it on data, but I don't know because Star Trek. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but it does look like it's a uh, middle name still cracks me up. It doesn't sound all right. All right. So so you know this mask is not super bad. I mean, first of all, this mask is better than that freaking Zuckerberg mask. I mean, that's horrible. That's horrible. I mean, that one's freaking stupid, stupid, stupid. And then this one looks like like this this guy got sick and he became skinny. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, yeah, let's make it bigger. <laughs> Again, again, why not just go back to the original mask? I, 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 I don't, I just, I don't, I don't understand it. Now, if a lot of uh, Halloween 4, they accidentally used a pink mask and one with blonde hair. You can see the blonde hair in a scene. Oh, wow. I have to rewatch that. Watch that now. 
Guys, if you didn't know this, Halloween H20 is a direct sequel from the first one. They did that in 1991. They, they, uh, episode two, three, four, five, six did not exist for H20. So H20 is based on the first one. So if you didn't know that, they actually did it back then where they said, oh, forget the sequels. Let's just get Jamie Lee Curtis back and let's get, um, uh, uh, let's get another stupid mask and uh, we'll go again. So H20 is a direct sequel to the first one. All right. Resurrection. Look at that stupid mask. The question you have to ask yourself is, why would you make this one? This one, this one is garbage. Halloween Resurrection is nothing but garbage. Nothing but garbage. I don't even want to talk about that one. I that one should not not that one should not ever exist as a movie. This is where it it all it's all about the money, but it was really about the money because it was just dumb. Ron Zombie Halloween. Now I'm going to play a trailer from the Ron Zombie Halloween. And then we're going to get into this one because I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I loved them. And I'll tell you why that I love the Ron Zombie Halloween movies. I know a lot of people didn't like them. I know that. And if you're one of those people who did not like the Ron Zombies, hey, listen, more power to you. I actually loved the Ron Zombie Halloween movies. And I'll tell you why in a second. But let's check out the trailer for the Ron Zombie Halloween movie. Tonight's brutal murders was described by police as Manson-like in its viciousness. Three people brutally murdered and a 10-year-old boy being held in custody. said a word for 15 years this summer rob zombie unleashes a unique vision of a legendary tale listen be careful tonight a lot of nutcases come out on halloween sorry that it's dark is the boogeyman real? Why are you so obsessed with the boogeyman, Tommy? <laughs> Halloween night, the boogeyman attacks kids you don't believe. Oh no, Tommy! The boogeyman's gonna get me! I'm gonna cut that mask right off your face. He's come back for his baby sister. To do what? Now I'm I'm gonna uh, 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 tell you guys why I loved the Ron Zombie Halloween movies. Now, first of all, Malcolm McDowell, you're correct. He was perfect as Loomis. He was perfect. Now listen, to reboot the franchise, you're never gonna. Uh, you, you can't. It's hard to repeat the masterpiece that the first one was, right? And if Ron Zombie tried to make it just like 
the first one where you don't know why this guy went blank. Why this kid just all suddenly went silence. He will be criticized. So if you're going to take a stab and, and redo the franchise, then go all out. Go all out. Because the original is still the original. You know, and actually, if you guys didn't know this, originally Ron Zombie wanted the first Halloween to be mostly about the kid. About the, you know, the messed up life, the, the perfect storm, you know, your mom's a stripper, the, the stepdad is a deadbeat asshole, the sister don't care about you, she's having sex with the boyfriends. I mean, that's what teenagers do. That's, you know, that's what, we, you, know, that's what you do as a teenager. But what I mean is, 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 um, you know, there's a lot of perfect storms that created this kid to become Michael Myers, and he wanted to flush all that out. But the Weinstein brothers, the Weinstein brothers said no. People want to see Michael Myers, so basically, it's basically he had to like shorten the movie in a way where I have my kid scene, and then I have where people want to see Michael. So I appreciated that. When you watch the movie, I, I love the, uh, the, 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 the killings in it was great. You know, he wanted to make it more realistic in a lot of different ways. So, so it, it's, it's like Michael, when his mind finally went, where he's just a psychotic. I mean, he, he knew he's a psychotic. Where his mind kind of took over. Where he made his body like be this huge body. This huge six foot seven or six foot six mass of a man. It was almost like the body knew what he is. And to help him survive against getting these beat downs and all that, he needs to be a big person. So. To make it more realistic, he made Michael a bigger person to be able to take those kind of blow that maybe makes a little bit more sense that he goes after you. And he did it right on the money with the mask. The mask was perfect. I had to obviously admit uh, my ignorance about these movies, but I will take your word for it. Listen, a lot of people hate. His because his Michael Meyer was more realistic, more closer to what it'd be like with this kind of a person. Because you know, in the Halloween movies, he was slim, body like a normal person. A person can't take those kind of dramatic beatings and they get shot six times, and move around. So, in a way, to try to do that, I'm not saying because you're six foot six and you're big body, you're going to be able to take like six bullets, but. A little bit more believable. Uh, we did a show at Weinstein. He hired fresh uh, actors to do slasher movies as an actor boot camps in Hollywood. Yes, that was... Um, God damn it. God damn it. The Burning. Was it called The Burning? Uh, that's where those, those young preppy kids were playing a joke on the worker and they, they put him on fire. So, oh, wow. A Halloween premiere yesterday in history in 1978. Ooh, that's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Rambo, now you're talking my language. But I really, truly appreciated his Halloween movies. I mean, I, 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 listen, if you're going to do one, to make it your own, it doesn't take away from the original. And now, this is going to shock everybody the most because when you do a Halloween ranking one the second to the lowest Halloween movies ranked is Ron Zombie Halloween 2 Rob Zombie Halloween 2 movie is my second favorite in the whole franchise it's my second favorite in the whole freaking franchise to me, Halloween 2 was brilliant. To me, it was brilliant. And you're like, what? It's brilliant? 
Hold on. I, I, I want to show you something. I know. Right now you're like, Eric, you're off your rocker. No. My opinion. Hold on. Let me. I'm trying to pull up something here. Give me a second. Um, uh, where is it? Oh God, I, I hate. Hold on a second. I'm going to Michael Myers images. Because I want to show. God, I had it on. I hate it when you use different browsers. You know what I mean? You use different browsers and you had the perfect images on one browser. But when you do it on another browser, even though. Oh, here we go. I, I, I want to show you guys this. And a lot of people hated this. They hated this. Let me show you guys. That picture, Michael Myers with the beard. People hated it. Why? He looks like Dr. Wu? People hated it. And I'm, I think, I'm always like trying to tell people, hold on a second. Michael Myers disappeared for two years. Oh, yeah, hold on a second. Let me tell you guys something for a second. Hold on, hold on. If you guys are going to watch the Ron Zombie Halloween movies, I know right now it's on Peacock. Those are theater release. Don't watch the Ron Zombie theater release ones. Watch the Ron Zombie's director cuts, the, what, the way he wanted him to be. Those are much better. The Ron Zombie director's cut is the way to go. Trust me, guys. Trust me. Michael Myers is gone for two years. How the hell was he going to shave? So he took a realistic approach where that's how he's going to look when he's ready to come from the woods. His mom from the other side, so Michael, were, were ready to come home. That's how Michael's going to look. I loved it for that. He took what the real person will look like I'm just trying to see um I mean I just I just love the whole I love what he did now I loved it because Michael is not Control. He's being controlled by his mom and his mind, telling him, for us to have peace, the Myers blood has to be deceased. Love that angle. Love that angle. So when he goes back to find his sister, like when he went to the strip club, people say, I hate the strip club scene. But that strip club scene in Halloween 2 was needed because. Michael had to get rid of people who, you know, discredited his mom, who, who who was responsible for how he got created in a way. So he had to go to that strip club to kill the people because his mom worked there. That scene was needed. And what I love what they did with Dr. Loomis was it showed that person might have started out well because the Ron Zombie first one, you know, Loomis was that hippie kind of looking guy, you know, but then it becomes about the money. It becomes about writing the books. It wasn't about the patient no more. It was about greed and money. In Halloween 2, Ron Zombie showed the greed and money, what, what it does to a person. Didn't give a shit about the murders, when they kept the secret of the daughter of this of, of Michael Myers' sister a secret, he put the secret in his book. Because he didn't care about the family. I love that when they did that to Loomis. I mean, 
Because that was that, that's what happens to people. They get with fame and the money, and they start turning into shitheads. That was realistic. And guys, I'm going to show you something. And you guys could think I'm crazy all you want. I'm going to show you. My favorite scene of all the Halloween movies came from Ron Zombie movie, Halloween 2. I want to show you this scene on how powerful this scene is with the silence, the background noise. I mean, it's 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 the most true horror you can see in a movie. And I know it's hard to see that uh, on my screen because it might look darker because I'm doing this through um, StreamYard. But this scene should have been nominated for uh, uh, the guy who played um, Lee Brackett should have got a Best Supporting Actor. I'm serious. You're crazy. He should have. Lee, The guy who played Lee Brackett in Halloween 2 should have gotten nominated for a Best Supporting Actor. Call me nuts, call me crazy, but watch this powerful scene. Chef, you don't want to go in there. I, let me handle this. Where is she? You don't want to go in there, Chef. No. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh no, Andy. God, no, God, please. Oh, God, no, no. Guys, I'm telling you, that scene gives me chills. If you can watch that on regular DVD, it will look clearer. I mean, I that scene, I don't know. It, the part that they went silence on it was just, you felt it. You felt it. I mean, I don't know how to explain it. To me, that was what was is, is is to me is one of the most powerful scenes in all the Halloween movies. I mean, I mean, seeing your daughter there, and in the ending, ending when the uh, main character, uh, Mike. Hold on a second. Um, I don't know why I'm having a brain freeze. Give me a second. I hate what, when you get these um, a, a brain freeze, right? Let me see a second. Give me a second. Uh, where is it? Um, Lori, the character Lori. Uh, when Brackett heard that Lori in a shed, he had to put away his anger at that moment in time and go down there and finish the job. You know what I mean? I mean that whole that whole that whole sequence in that movie right there it's just so heart not heartwarming but it's just so it's the most scariest kind of horror there is and you felt it I felt it in that last scene what I appreciate about 
the 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 Ron Zombie director's cut, Halloween Two, is when they're in that shed. The Myers family was basically all in there. The mom, the ghost side of, of Michael Myers, the kid. Now they had to use a different actor as the kid because by the time they made it, the other kid was too was grown too big. So they actually had to replace it. That's the main reason. And you know, of course, Loomis came down there and he like trying to redeem himself. But that story had to end where every one of them is in the afterlife. Ron, uh, Ron Zombie knew this. So when Loomis ran into that shed, when Michael, Michael could have killed him inside that shed. But he threw him out the shed on purpose. So you kill him out there and be shot and killed. Michael needed to die. And that was his way of dying. Then at that moment in time, Lori was broken. She was just broken. Ron Zombie did a great job of how broken she was. She couldn't, she couldn't survive. Because she was already broken. So when Lori came out to do the like to stab, she had to get shot in a weird in a movie in the movie. Because there was no, um, there was no ending of her surviving. She was already damaged. She was already gone. And in the end, you saw every single one of them, Loomis, all of them, of that Myers last blood. There, there did. I thought, and I think that was brilliant. He had to end it because Lori was too damaged. Was way too damaged. And I appreciate they did everything they did in that movie. That's why Ron Zombie's second Halloween and that song that he put in on his director's cut, Love Hurts. I forgot the actress who sings it. It's amazing. Uh, hold on a second. Um, uh, let me see here. There... Um, Maybe there is. Maybe I could play a little bit of it. Maybe I could play a little bit of it. I don't, uh, you know, before they copyright it. Here, I'll just put that link in there so you guys can hear it. That version of Love Hurts. Yeah, yeah, there is, there is. Um, you can listen to that uh, 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 song right here. Um, he named it, uh, name, sang it, and it was just beautiful. She sang it. Yeah, there is an alternate ending, but that one in the director's cut Halloween two movie was perfect. It was perfect. It was. I wish I could play. Hold on. Song's brilliant for that movie because it showed at the end that that Lori was in the afterlife with the white horse and everything, and all that. All right, before we end the show today, let's talk about the last three Halloween movies that started in 2018. In 2018, they rebooted the Halloween franchise in a way where, it, again, like H20, they redirected a, a, a direct sequel to the 1978 Halloween movie in the 2018. And that movie wasn't bad. It was actually, it was pretty good. Wasn't bad. Wasn't bad. I hate it. The new guy that kind of played the character of Loomis, but he wasn't Loomis. I didn't like it in that 2018 when he had to put the mask on to feel it. I didn't like that scene. I, I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't like that. And the idea of that 2018, they retcon that, that, um, Michael Myers and um, 
Laurie, Jamie Lee Curtis character. They weren't brother and sister. So they retconned that. I didn't like how they had to like put Michael in a, in, in, in a vehicle to dr that stupid doctor guy drive him to meet up with Jamie Lee Curtis, Laurie character, because he never meant to see her, to find her. He didn't give a shit. I didn't like that because you lost that connection between Michael and Laurie in the 2018. But it wasn't wasn't bad. It was good, right? And then they came out with Halloween, uh, Halloween Kills. Halloween Kills. My God, I hate it. Freaking Halloween Kills. I seriously, I hate it. That movie, Anthony Michael Hall did not fit in that movie at all. I didn't like it where the whole town's going crazy. They're, they're, they're attacking an innocent, crazy guy. I think it was Mike. I mean, I didn't like, I did not like Halloween ends. I did not like it. The movie kind of made me angry. Did not like it. So when Halloween kills or Halloween ends come out, I'm like, well, it can't be that bad, right? Halloween ends cannot be worse than Halloween Kills. I said it to myself, can't, could it be? Because Halloween end, Kills was down here. You know, if, if they put Halloween Kills he, ends here, 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 all right, it's going to be better. I was so pissed off. I'm serious. I'm, I shouldn't be pissed off. But I was so angry at that movie in the movie theater. I was like, what the garbage is this? I hated Halloween ends worse than kills. I'm like, how do you make a decent 18 and just go down the hill? And I, and I was like, it was like, it's a season the witch Halloween three where Michael wasn't in it. I think it was about the masks. Well, in this one, Michael was on the sidelines. This new character, brand new character that they never developed in the first two, sees Michael in a cave and look at Michael in the eyes and his essence went into him. Oh my God, I felt like I was watching uh, Jason Goes to Hell where Jason was going to body to body to body. Take that. It's a whole up. Uh, oh, but Eric, it wasn't about Michael no more. It was about how the town all were becoming Michael. Shut up. If that's the way you see it, great, fantastic. I, I am I am happy for you. I am I am happy for you. But the battle between Jamie and Halloween two or uh, Michael Myers and Halloween ends. Listen, one scene does not make up for the rest of the movie being crap. You know, I appreciate it, Halloween 3, um, Season of Witch. It's just they shouldn't have titled it Halloween 3. The story of Halloween 3 with the mask brainwashing people deserved more credit than it deserved. I th it just got lost in the shuffle because they call it Halloween 3. People were expecting Michael. They should have done that. Well, in this one, it's almost the exact same thing. But Michael was in Halloween Ends, and he was on the sidelines, and the and the story was crappy. At least Halloween 3, Season the Witch, Michael wasn't in it, had that name, but at least that movie was good. At least that movie was written very well. John Carpenter, that, that was actually going to be, uh, 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 he actually was writing that movie more of a theory of, of doing a TV series based on Season of the Witch. Of course, it never happened. So there was a lot of huge mistakes they did and all that. So where the franchise goes from here, I don't know. I seriously don't know. I don't know. Are they going to reboot? They can't, they can't continue. Well, first of all, they, they, they put Michael Myers in the meat grinder. So I guess they're going to start over. But I, I'm guessing that 
if they start over with a fresh reboot, they're probably going to go the John Carpenter route of the silence. I mean, I guess they could do that now because, you know, you had the Ron Zombie. And I guess if you're going to do it, I guess maybe that's the way of doing it. I mean, I don't know. The Friday the 13th series was good. That show was good. Where they sell all those items, they got to get it back. Because every item was um, haunted. So, well, guys, first of all, I'm sorry for the, the original show of this, of the breakdown with the, how I had to rebuild these, this episode to come back. I apologize for that. Um, I, I, you know, I didn't mean it to happen, but, you know, I, you know, beyond that, you know, guys, Halloween's next Tuesday. I'm going to do a special Halloween show. Um, I know Danny Stanton is going to jump on for that Halloween show. I think Dr. Wu is going to jump on. You know, we're we're gonna have we're gonna have a good time. Uh, we're just we're gonna build our own top ten list of the greatest um, horror movies. We're all gonna build this list together on next Tuesday. I wanted I wanted to um, just come in and, and give appreciation and sorry for ending on a bad note. But Halloween ends, Halloween kills were the two most crappiest of, of all the Halloween movies. It was horrible. And Hall Ron Zombie Halloween 2 gets a bad rap. People are saying it's the second worst. To me, it's the second best in the franchise. Beyond that, I seriously love you all. And hold on. And remember, when you're searching for the truth of the unknown, remember, I will always be watching you. <laughs>